Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this custom list to your blogger and your WordPress websites. Now this is the custom list that we're gonna add. This is an ordered list, which means that we have numbers one, two, three through five. And whenever we hover over this, we have this uh, animation. And we had designed this from scratch using HTML and CSS in the previous video. So if you want to learn how to design this from scratch, you can watch that video. I will leave the link in the description of this video. And uh, I will also leave the link of the source code so that you can just copy and paste the code over here. So first of all, let's go to the blogger website. And uh, this is the blogger website where I'm going to add this custom list. So let's go to the dashboard and uh, we can add it in a post or even in a page. Let's add a new post. So I'll just click on new post. All right. So let's uh, go ahead and add our code. Now, if you want to add some more content, like adding some text over here, you can add that directly over here and you can add all the content of your post as usual. But whenever you want to add this custom list, you have to go into the HTML view because we have our code in HTML. So we have to copy and paste that over here. So I'm not going to add any extra content. I'll just add the list. So here I have opened up the code. This is the HTML and this is the CSS. So first of all, let's copy the HTML. So I'll just copy everything inside the body. So this division called custom OL. I'll just copy this. Now you can go ahead and make changes to this list according to your needs. So you can completely change this text over here. And you can add and remove list items from here inside this ordered list. I'll just keep everything as it is and I'll just copy this division from here. And uh, now to add the HTML, you have to go to the HTML view. Now if you add it over here, then the HTML will be displayed as it is on our post. But we don't want that. So let's go over here to this button and we will choose HTML view. Now this is where you can add HTML. So let's paste the code right here and our HTML has been added. Let's also add a title. So I'll just type steps to design a website. All right, now let's go ahead and click on publish and then click on confirm. All right, our post has been published. Now let's go ahead and click on view. And our order list is being displayed over here. We have th this heading. I think we don't need this heading because we already have this heading over here. But uh, let's just keep it as it is. And uh, we also have these list items over here. Now this ordered list is not looking like this uh, custom list that we have over here. That's because we need to add some CSS to make it look like this. Now to add some extra CSS in your blogger theme, you have to go over here to theme. And there are two different ways. You can go over here to customize and then click on advanced. And here uh, choose add CSS and paste the CSS right here. Or if you don't find this option in your theme, then you can go over here to this arrow and click on edit HTML. This will show you the complete code of your theme. Now, if you scroll down a little bit, you can see a list of all the CSS of the theme. So this is all the CSS that we have for the theme. Let's scroll down to the end of the CSS. So this is where the CSS ends. Now let's go ahead and create a comment. So I'll just type custom list. And uh, let's add the CSS down here and uh, let's go to style.css and I'll just copy the CSS from here and paste it over here. Now here we can see that we have added this uh, font called Roboto. Now in our theme we already have this font called Roboto. So I have this extension for Google Chrome which tells you which font this is. So let me just click on that and if I hover over this we can see that it is the Roboto font. So we don't need to add the link of the font in our theme code. But if you don't have this font in your theme, then you have to go over here to HTML and copy this link of the font. And then you have to paste it inside the theme code. And you have to go to the top of the theme code and inside the head tag, you have to paste the link of the font. But we already have the font. So I'll just click on save. And let's go ahead and refresh our page. So this is our post and we can see that our custom list is looking just as we wanted. Let's hover over this and let's see whether we have the effect. 
and everything is working all right we don't have any problems so that's basically how you add a custom list to your blogger website now let me show you how to add this custom list to a wordpress website now here i am in the dashboard of my wordpress website let's click on view site and uh, see how the site looks so this is how the website looks let's go ahead and create a new post and we'll go to post and click on add new let's add the title of the post so i'll just type how to design a website and then here you have to start typing the content so you can add all the paragraph images or whatever you want over here and when you want to add this custom list to your post then uh, you have to go over here and uh, click on this plus icon and search for HTML and click on custom HTML or you can directly type forward slash over here and you'll get the list of all the blocks you can use and just type HTML over here and then just select custom HTML and it says write HTML so let's go ahead and copy the HTML from here I'll just copy this division and paste it over here you can also go over here to preview and see how it looks right so once we have the HTML copied let's click on publish and uh, publish once more right our post has been published let's click on view post and here we have the ordered list let's also add the CSS and uh, make it look just like this so now to add the CSS uh, we're going to use a plugin now for that I'll be using a plugin called custom CSS and JS now if you don't have this plugin you can go over here to plugins and click on add new and search for custom CSS and JS and you'll find this plugin now here I will click on add custom CSS and here we'll just add a title for our CSS so I'll just type custom list and then you can copy your CSS right here so I'll go to style.css copy everything and paste it over here and we also added the font roboto over here in our website and let's see whether our website has this font so let me check this this is a different font and uh, I think we don't have the roboto font in our website so we need to add the link of the font as well I'll show you how to add the link of the font but before that let's go ahead and publish this CSS so on the right we have some options over here so the linking type is set to internal and uh, where on page is set to header and where in site is set to in front end so everything will be as it is let's click on publish now let's add the link of the fonts now to add the link of the font uh, you have to add it in a different way because uh, here we can see that the link is added in the head tag so for that you have to click on add custom HTML or you can even click this button over here add HTML code and here we can see that it says add HTML code to the header or the footer so we want to add it in the header so here we can add the link of the font and we also have an example over here so if you want to add the script you can add it over here and if you want to add a link so we have a link over here so we can add that right here so let me just copy this and paste it over here and let's also add a title so we'll just type roboto font and on the right we have some options over here so we will set it to header and in front end right so let's click on publish now let's go to our post and see whether the CSS is being applied so let me just refresh this page and we can see that our list is being displayed over here let me hover over this and uh, the animation is also working all right there may be some issues with the height and the width of some of these elements now you can go ahead and tweak some of these over here so for example the padding on the top and the bottom of these numbers seem to be a little bit more than our uh, original design now this can happen because of the existing styles in our uh, wordpress theme so it may be having some styles to add for the order list so that can be applied over here in our order list you can always go over here to inspect and see what is the problem and you can increase or decrease the values so let's go over here to the before element and here we can see all the CSS is being displayed we can go ahead and reduce the padding right here 
So you can set the padding to 0 and it will look better. So let's do that. So it is in the before and we have to set the padding to 0, 16. Let's go back to our CSS. We'll go to all custom code and go to custom list and uh, let's go to the before. So here we will just change the 8 to 0 and uh, let's update and uh, let's refresh our post and now we can see that our uh, ordered list looks better. So that's basically how you add a custom list to your WordPress website. Now you can go ahead and change the text to whatever you want and you can add and remove more list items over here and the numbering will be changed automatically. You don't need to worry about these numbers. So that's basically it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video and I will also leave the link of uh, the design video where we design this uh, complete custom list from scratch using HTML and CSS. So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.